The next uh, presenter is going to, um, I think, help us with a, a workaround with one of the biggest issues that many of us find in looking uh, at optimal interprofessional models is how do you get everybody all in the same room together at the same time. And uh, uh, Dr. John Ressler is the Director of Academic Programs for the Association of Colleges of Pharmacy. And uh, he's a Doctor of Education, and he will show us one of those workarounds they've developed. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm John Ressler um, with the American Association of Colleges of Pharmacy, AACP. And very pleased to be here and presenting uh, today uh, at this global forum, which it has to do with something that's very near and dear to AACP's heart, and that's envisioning the future of education in the health professions. Historically, uh, our, we have done in the health professional education a great job of teaching practical skills, uh, critical thinking skills, and the related skills that are necessary for a health professional to go into their practice. The assumption may have been, however, a bit uh, too much in that being a social human beings, they were equipped to be able to work within the dynamics that exist out there in the practice. As we know, healthcare is not an autonomous situation. It's a team type of collaboration. And one of the things that uh, AACP has been uh, keen upon is developing that type of team collaboration. A couple of the items that uh, we share, and of course we share these with all the other health profession education and associations. Uh, we need to provide the opportunity for students to become accustomed, feel comfortable in real life type situations for their practical uh, work situations. And one of those ways is how do we provide the opportunity for students to develop those skills while they're still a student? before they're actually placed into the, uh, the practice field. So what we have uh, looked at is the, the need for interprofessional education, bringing together students from other disciplines, working together, get comfortable with each other, knowing the right type of questions to ask each other when they're doing uh, an assessment of a patient, Circumstances such as that, uh, one of the things that uh, students need to be taught is how to uh, critically think. And of course, as was mentioned in the uh, forum here yesterday, I think a, a good, we use the term health literacy. I think what is key here is team-based literacy. And fortunately, throughout the uh, sessions yesterday and this morning, I think it's something that most health professions agree upon is that we need to have the collaboration and the team-based type of spirit to be able to move into the practical aspects. In May of uh, 2011, the uh, Interprofessional Education Collaborative, which is known as IPEC, released four competencies for interprofessional learning. AACP is a major proponent of IPEC and very happy to be involved with the organization as well as working on these competencies as well. They cross all health professions. They're not specific to pharmacy. They're not specific to medicine. They cross all disciplines. So our visionaries at AACP thought, okay, how can we utilize what type of measure and what type of a venture could we establish that would develop the IPEC competencies and bring in some type of training to provide students? And what could we offer in that manner? Well, one of the thoughts was serious gaming. 
And the difference between gaming and serious gaming, gaming is for fun. Of course, there may be a little learning that, you know, uh, young people, uh, students may obtain. Serious gaming is when there is an outcome, okay? And one of the things that uh, our so-called visionaries have uh, thought, let's utilize serious gaming and incorporate that into interprofessional training communication. So thus was formed Mimics. We established a uh, subsidiary corporation called Professions Quest, and we are now creating the opportunity for students to come together anywhere in the world online 24-7 to play and participate in this mimics game. And what it has to do is with patient care. It has to do with asking the proper questions of bringing in a, uh, a dental student or bringing in a health profession, uh, excuse me, a, a public health student. Given cases, it's case-based, and given these cases in which it brings in these other uh, areas to collaborate and to use their decision-making skills. It's problem-based, it's case study-based. As a result, it is team-based. So in the game, we'll take a couple uh, looks here. Um, the game itself uh, is actually was just the first quest, as we refer to them, was just uh, released two weeks ago. And in the next two weeks, we have our second quest being released. So this is brand new. It's been in the process for a year and a half, um, and it takes quite a bit of work, as you could imagine, to bring it to fruition. But we're real pleased that it's out on the market now, uh, very acceptably, uh, as a result. And I want to show you just some of the different uh, uh, these are screenshots of the actual online play. Uh, we're going into a medical room in this instance here. We're taking a look at a patient. Okay? Now bear in mind, you have other team members that are also playing in this game. So everyone's looking at the same time at this situation. Right? We're, doing, we're doing an assessment of the patient. And as you see down in the lower left-hand corner, students are talking with each other. They're communicating. They're bringing their skills of each of their different disciplines to pose questions to try to determine what the circumstances are with this patient. They decided, let's require, let's bring in lab work. In this particular situation, they asked, well, we need more information on the patient. So the phone a friend was actually contacting a family member. They contacted a dentist. A dentist then entered into the mimics play. They're able to live chat, as indicated. And then they come up with their solutions. Now, one of the beautiful parts about mimics is it is based upon the four IPEC competencies. So students then are then judged and evaluated on their performance based upon those competencies. It explains then at the end how well they did, areas of necessary, uh, uh, areas where they need to improve, if you will. That is mimics. Thank you for the opportunity. We have a chance for a, a brief follow-up and um, how many I mean, you've, you've just rolled this out, so a question, what, is it, what goes into making one of these, and how many students do you need to have online to actually have the game work? Good question. Uh, as I mentioned, the, uh, the Mimics has taken a year and a half to actually come to fruition. Uh, we have a staff of 15 that work within Professions Quest now. Uh, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're Expertise has ranged from script writers, case writers, uh, subject matter experts, right? uh, graphics designers, testers, uh, simulation designers. Because each step that these characters take within the uh, 
within the game all have to be programmed. So it takes quite a bit of effort to, for one to actually come 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 about. Um, appreciate the question. Thank you. So how, how many does it take to uh, actually play? The game? Oh, to actually play. I'm sorry, I, I overlooked that. Uh, because it is a competition, it takes at least two. Yeah. Hi, Dr. Ressar, thank you very much. Um, I think it's great that the AACP has developed a game, one more opportunity for students to work together. One of the principles of IPE is co-development. So in your team of uh, 15, did you have an interprofessional group that developed the case? We do. We, we call upon subject matter experts to be able to come in and contribute other discipline aspects of what to look for uh, in, in each of these cases. So, yes, we have other disciplines that are also working with us to develop these. Thank you.